Hi guys, it's Jez here from Windows Central and today I thought we'd have a quick look at the new Xbox dashboard update which is, should be in its like final stages of testing before it rolls out to the general public sometime this month in February of 2020, so stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice here is that the tabs across the top are gone. We can no longer scroll horizontally to Mixer and Xbox Game Pass and the store and so on. Instead, what Microsoft has done is, is turn them into blocks, which appear here in this sort of vertical column. You can customize this section to your heart's content by hitting the View key. And as you see now, you can add blocks to home. And these are things like games, you can add clubs, you can add friends, and you can add uh, Xbox Game Pass, and it will give you updates on what new games are coming and stuff like that. And uh, you can remove them, add them, move them around, do whatever you want with them. It's uh, I prefer this to the old system, and it does feel a bit faster too. Makes the content a little bit more dynamic. And uh, that's basically it for that section. Um, as you can see, we've got Mixer here. It's pretty much the same as it was when it was a, a, a twist, they're called. And if you go to the community section here, you can share. You can go to trending Xbox and go to clubs and you can see like what your friends are up to and all that sort of stuff. News from games that you follow. And uh, the store section is all pretty much the same. Lots of quick, quick jump shortcuts and stuff like that. But nothing too revolutionary here. You can, again, you can remove them if you fancy. So... I don't really need to have a store there. Probably don't really need to have community there. I'll keep Mixer and I'll actually no, I'm gonna remove that too. So you can just basically just have pins and, and stuff if you if you fancy that. And if you back out, that's all you see. And then Microsoft will give you suggestions about other things you can add if you so choose. Now, the other major update in this build pertains to my games and apps, which has been completely revamped. Um I think the idea behind this revamp is primarily speed. As you can see, if I go into my games and apps, that feels significantly faster than it used to. Um, the reason it feels faster is because they've separated out your entire library into another section. So instead of pulling down your entire library on that initial load, or at least this is what I'm, this is my assumption, is that by separating it out, it's made it that initial load time a little bit faster, and it does work. So, like, if you do go into full library, you can get all your own games, your apps, your Xbox Game Pass titles that you can download, and stuff like that. And it all looks and works the same way as it did before. Uh, if you don't have a game downloaded, there's a little download icon on it. You can also filter by games that are installed or games that are ready to install, and so on. There's also this new management section, which has like quick access to the ability to free up space, manage your storage, and then some quick settings down here, as well as your updates and being able to see your queue. If you are downloading, you still do get to see it on the left down there, uh, above all storage on the left. But, um, you know, it's just uh, some people have complained and said it's extra steps to get to things you want. But I think having that initial load speed to be faster so you can get straight into your games library, which is primarily really what people use this app for in the first place i think it's a good thing overall the whole idea behind this dashboard update is laying the groundwork for some of the code that the next generation xboxes need because i have heard that this dashboard is the same dashboard we're going to get on scarlet or um the xbox series x rather so um yeah that's pretty much it for now if you like this video please hit subscribe button we'd appreciate it a lot but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, hopefully the next update will be a bit more significant, be more interesting features in there, but we'll just have to wait and see. In any case, thanks for watching, guys.